tummy tucks, otherwise known as abdominoplasties. There have been all kinds of stuff written up in the literature, and if you go online, and if you're online, you're looking at me, you'll read about different tucks, lipoabdominoplasties and phaser and all kinds of different things. Tummy tucks basically are done by taking the excess skin off the lower abdomen, elevating the upper abdominal skin, sewing up the abdominal muscles, and then pulling down that excess skin. You'll have a scar that's low and transverse along your lower abdomen, just above the pubis area, and then we bring the belly button back through through a nice little incision. Tummy tucks in my practice are about an hour and a half to two hour operation. It's done in my fully accredited surgery center. You're up and walking uh, the next day. In fact, you're up and walking that night. My patients typically walk in to see me the next day or two days later, and they're standing almost upright. Not a lot of pain. In fact, lately we've been injecting this special medicine in the abdominal wall that lasts for three days. There's no pain pump and it's very comfortable. I do use drains and there's some people that talk about doing abdominal plasties without drains. I, I tried that for a while. Aesthetically, I don't like the result. Oftentimes we'll do a little bit of liposuction in the hips to make it all blend very nicely. Oftentimes we'll do a little sculpting of the tissues underneath the skin to give a little bit more of a natural crease down the middle or a little bit of a, a sulcus or a furrow to make it look more natural. Patients that want a tummy tuck are patients that have had a few babies or patients that have lost a lot of weight. So patients that have had a gastric bypass or a lap band often will have lost 75 or 100 or 150 pounds and we have to do a tummy tuck on them. Sometimes we have to do what's called a complex tummy tuck where there's so much skin Maybe there's a midline scar as well as a transverse scar, but a routine tummy tuck is a transverse scar. Recently, I published in one of our national journals our, or my experience with over 300 consecutive outpatient abdominal plasty procedures. We had no major complications. What that paper showed, and we're happy to refer you to uh, copies of that article, or you can go to our website and find it, was that if you do a patient's abdominal plasty as an outpatient, not kept overnight, those patients do much better. They're up walking faster, they have no incidence of clots in their legs or their lungs, and very few, if any, chance of infection um, or other major complications. So we think it's a better way to go. It's, it's a way that a lot of people are doing this day, these days and ages, but we've been doing it that way for about 15 years, getting great results. It's a very happy operation, trims up your torso, looks great, makes you feel better about how you look, your pants will fit better.